Are we in the middle of a complete and total New York City market crash? New York City is one of the most sought after parts of the country and the world as far as real estate. But what's happened over the last 10, 15, and 20 years is that we've seen massive changes in the New York City real estate environment. My team has over 30 years of combined experience. We've sold over three and a half billion in real estate. What's crazy is we've seen the worst markets and the best markets in the last 20 years. What I'd love to talk to you about is what we're really seeing in this market. We're seeing interest rates higher than we've seen in the last 20 years, sentiment of people wanting to live in suburban areas but want to keep a little bit of a foothold in New York City. Let's remember that there's multiple boroughs in New York City, there's multiple submarkets, and in order to understand everything that's going on, you need to work with an expert. The question of where the market is right now and whether it's a bad or a good market is actually a question about whether we're in a market transition. And the truth is, is we're always in a market transition. Right now, we're in a transition that's still kind of slowly going downwards towards a lower medium price point and more days on market. That being said, there are submarkets that are still experiencing a tremendous amount of activity and demand because of what's going on with literally demographic movement. We've seen buyers want to move to places like Brooklyn because of the fact that it's the way that they can get to a more suburban area that's a little bit more quiet with a little bit more nature without having to leave the five boroughs. And so when you ask a real estate agent, is it a good market or a bad market? You are really asking them, where are we going? I think what we're gonna see in the really near future is as soon as rates come down, and this might be towards the end of next year, we're gonna see a flood of buyers coming into the market because of the fact that they will have more buying power. And we're also gonna see more sellers come into the market because they're gonna feel a little bit more confident about buyers being able to pay up for their home and for their home to be able to sell a little bit faster. And then hopefully they're also gonna find a home that they can trade up into. Because right now the other reason we're having issues with getting sellers into the marketplace is that they feel that they won't be able to buy what they really want even if they sell their home for top dollar. Remember, we are talking about transitions, we're talking about where the market is right now and where the market could potentially be going. Looking at the overall market trends and the actual amount of volume that's sold in Manhattan, we're actually seeing an 18% decrease from the third quarter of 2023 to the third quarter of 2022. However, we're also seeing a 5% increase if you average the last five years of volume. So if you really want to distill that into a couple of phrases, listen, New York City is still seeing an incredible amount of sales volume, more than probably other markets. Also, you can't base what's going on year over year right now because of how much has changed in such a short amount of time, because of interest rates, because of global political events and general sentiment, and we're going into an election year where everybody's like, well, I gotta wait and see what's gonna happen before I do anything. I know so many of you are like, but Kirsten, I'm gonna turn this video off if you don't talk about whether it's a good time to buy or to sell. I wanna know what's really good for me right now. Well, that's a loaded question, and I do believe that there's opportunity to do either in any marketplace. If you have the right advisor, you can find an incredible asset and buy it for a fair price, and it will appreciate in almost any market. And you can also sell your home in a record amount of time for top dollar if you do everything right. If you are excited about learning more about what's going on in the New York City real estate market, or you just love this content and feel like one of your friends would benefit from it, please like, share, and subscribe. Message me, I wanna hear what you are interested in learning about because I have so much to say about so many topics that have to do with real estate, and I love helping people like you find their dream home and sell their homes for top dollar.